What's up guys, I'm Bird. I'm Henner. Welcome to our edition of Pokeboy Production Channel. So today we're here at the American Dream, right Henner? Back to American Dream. American Dream Mall, because today is the day we try Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. We actually the went burger, not Mr. Beast himself. <laughs> don't, don't get that confused. Yeah, I know. That's why I had to follow up with that one. <laughs> so we're going to try out it's his first physical restaurant. We chose American Dream for it. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be busy, but we'll see. We'll try your burgers and uh, yeah, keep watching. Damn, <laughs> American Dream is packed. People going to close out the first level already. <laughs> people going second level. Is this because of Mr. Beast? He's probably. Or is it just because it's the Labor Day weekend? <laughs> Mm. Take a guess. <laughs> Look at this. I've never seen this parking lot so packed before. That's where we usually park too, right there? Yeah. Wow. This Look at this. Series. Traffic going to the second level. Dang, I never saw this mall so packed, Henner. <laughs> this parking lot. We're in the second level. Definitely for somebody named the Beast. <laughs> Upstairs. The line is still going all the way in the back of the line. Look at this. This is crazy. What the? People probably people have been camping here. Look at this. People with chairs. They knew the line's gonna be crazy, but yeah, I think it's part of it. It goes around. It wraps around already. This is nuts. Damn, Mr. Beast. He's so popular. People want that free money or free Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, I don't think American Dream have ever seen this much crowd. I don't think American Dream has ever seen this much of a crowd because of uh, until Mr. Beast came here. Look at this. the security guard when we were walking around that line this line started last night so people camp out here just to try out Mr. Beast's burger and this thing wraps around the whole mall how crazy is this man just to tie it probably just to see Mr. Beast so Mr. Beast is gonna be here for what eight hours or so maybe 
uh, I doubt he's gonna be able to serve all these burgers to all, everybody here. I'm gonna feel sorry for the people that been here since last night and then they're not able to get a burger and they waited all this long. Yeah, this line wraps around American Dream and you know American Dream is in a small mall. Wow, last night. the mall and look how night difference there is no people no one upstairs so different All right. heading to the third floor this was closed before you get to see what's inside American dreams mr. beast He's copying me. <laughs> I ordered first. So you're copying me. <laughs> so it's just double patty, right? Cheese, cheese. Double patty, bacon, cheese, and a little bit of fries, seasoned fries on top. This is the Chris style, right? Chris style, yeah. Chris style. I forgot, I'm gonna get try to see if I can get ketchup. Oops, my bad. I just got the Chandler burger. The no frills burger, just a double patty. The cheese. And I forgot seasoned french fries. But uh, Hannah got the bacon and all good stuff. Man. So, depending on your taste, which one do you like? Alright, Hannah. What do you think so far? Do you want me to be brutally honest, Brian? Yeah. Both advertising. Why? Because they said on the thing it's supposed to be a nice, juicy, yummy burger. This thing is dry as hell, man. <laughs> So just put more ketchup and uh... It doesn't matter. I'm yeah, buying for the nice juicy burger as they advertise. Mr. Beast, what's going on? What's going on, Mr. Beast? <laughs> yeah. I'm being honest here. You know, they said they advertise a nice juicy burger. But here from what I get, very thin, thin, thin slices of patty. Uh, two, I mean, two slices of bacon is okay. Three fries, where I see in the picture, there's like a million fries on top inside the burger. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. Right? I think <laughs> I would, and plus at the price what this I paid for here, I would rather get the um, the what's that, the steak burger from Burger King. At least that's really juicy. <laughs> but, I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> it's okay. Enjoy it though. Mm. This is the Chandler burger, Henry. I thought I had the same burger as you, but it's different. This one is just double patty. Give me your honest review, Vern, on what you think. It's not 
bad. But like he said, it's not juicy. It's not juicy, it's juicy. Not not as juicy. I mean it's not, you know, I mean, there's a little bit of oily in here, but it's okay. It's a double patty. It's like a double cheeseburger. I added ketchup to it. You got your, your two cheeses on it. It's not bad. But uh expected a little bit better like you said that. But uh, not bad for a first venture, I guess. Maybe it'll improve, but not bad. And it's a little high in price that you said. <laughs> yeah, for the price we pay for you think it's worth it. Be honest. Um I don't want to hurt his feelings. <laughs> I guess maybe, I'll, maybe I'll come back if my niece and nephew love Mr. Beast. I'll, I'll try it again, why not? But I mean, it's a no, guys. <laughs> so no. it's okay, it's okay. You're paying for the name of Mr. Beast. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Basically, it's just a normal burger. Yeah. Nothing special, really. Mm -hmm. Alright, thanks for your review, Vern. Anytime. I was also able to taste the Mr. Beast burger through an app called Uber Eats. This is when they had ghost kitchens and before the actual physical restaurant. And I gotta say this actually tasted a whole lot better than the other types of burgers. So if I were ever to go back to that Mr. Beast restaurant, this is probably what I would order. I guess this is the names on the wall. I guess this is the opening day. It's like a whole bunch of names here. I'm not signing the wall. That's pretty cool though. That's a lot of people ordering burgers. So, uh, yeah, Henner, what do you think? Mm. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's okay. <laughs> You're really just paying for Mr. Beast and his name. Yes. The and you know the like. If you're a follower of his on YouTube, you see a lot of the things that they've done for the show, like the Squid Games character in the back, mm -hmm. and uh, you see videos playing all over the place, merch is in there. So, if you're a super fan, I think you probably would like it, definitely. Um, but the food was just okay, I think, right, Hunter? Yes, really okay. <laughs> I mean, I might come back because I know my niece and nephew, uh, particularly my nephew, he knows Mr. Beast, so we're probably going to go back. I don't know, we'll see. And my niece, I know, also loves it, Cat and Callie. I don't know if Callie follows Mr. Beast. But anyway, yeah, that's uh, the Mr. Beast restaurant. We were there the first day. You see some footage here. It's super busy. We didn't even bother going to the line, right, Henry? Yeah, it was just way too long. You wrapped around the whole mall. <laughs> so we met, like, Wednesday. This day is Wednesday. And uh, yeah, you can see it's not as busy. So, but yeah, like I said, if you're a super fan and you follow Mr. Beast and you like him, I definitely say try it and, rec and re would recommend it to you because it's pretty cool. You I mean if you're, you know, everything is there, Mr. Beast. <laughs> if you're a fan, sure. Yeah, if you're a fan, sure. But like I said, there's probably def definitely better burgers out there in New Jersey. But um, but yeah, if you're a super fan, try it. Yep. Um, where's the center? This is in the American Dream. Mall. Yeah, right off Sea Caucus. You can't miss it. It's super big. Yes. <laughs> so, anyway, Henner, last words. Yes, please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Ding, ding, ding. See you guys. Bye.